What's your name? I'm Demetrius. What are some things you look for in a woman? Um, for me, definitely confidence. I love a confident woman. Um, someone who's, you know, has self-compassion and positive. And Tyra, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I was just listening. Okay. So he's not your type? No. Oh. I was just listening. Mm -hmm. And just really overall, a woman that has morals and she carries herself well. Okay. Now what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, I would definitely have to say... You stand like a baddie. I you stand stands. like a baddie? Yes. And I'm traumatized. Yeah. Um, like I said before, confidence. And someone who doesn't, I have to say, value their health. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm real big in the gym. I'm not saying my lady has to be, but, you know, at least make it a priority. So, like, what? I did... I dated a guy like briefly and I try to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I saw like sass and I try to like, uh, oh, maybe. And I was wrong. He was really sassy, so. So this is how you stand? Yes. Okay. Look. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> like I might say, you know, babe, come, come, come to the gym with me. You know, let's get this workout in. You know, we enjoy the day, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So what makes him not your type? Um. I just, I'm not really physically attracted to you. I'm, um. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm Demetrius. Demetrius, how old are you? I'm 35. And what do you do? So I own a fitness apparel line called Imperial Fitness and I'm an online coach and a wellness coach. Oh, nice. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Uh, so for fun, I like to go to new restaurants, um, try new foods. Um, I love to travel. Hawaii is my uh, favorite vacation spot mm. and Watch movies, you know, things like that. Go to oh, the gym. Nice. And uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, for me, definitely confidence. I love a confident woman. Um, someone who's, you know, has self-compassion and positive. Mm -hmm. And just really overall, a woman that has morals and she carries herself well. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, I would definitely have to say, um, like I said before, confidence. And someone who doesn't... Um, I have to say value their health. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm real big in the gym. I'm not saying my lady has to be, but, you know, at least make it a priority. Like, I might say, you know, babe, come, come, come to the gym with me. You know, let's get this workout in. You know, we enjoy the day. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. Okay. Bam. So far off to a good start. Nobody has popped yet. Hopefully they keep this streak going. All right. So we have no pop balloons. So you're doing very well. Yeah. So what that means is I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pic. Okay. There you go. And I am going to have you pop three balloons. Three balloons? Three balloons. Based off of what you're seeing, go ahead and pop those three. Okay. Uh, okay, two more. And one more. Okay, let's start down there since you're already there. Let's start with the first balloon, your name and age. Hi, I'm Mercedes, I'm 27. And Mercedes, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, Cause he said he's really big in health and the gym and so am I, so. Okay, nice. And so why did we end up popping hers? Um, honestly, I mean, she's a beautiful female. Um, I just didn't really see like a physical connection with her. Okay. Um, that's it really. Okay. Understandable. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Isn't this the same woman that said that she had a bad experience with guys with dreads? She literally rejected the last dude because he had dreads on. So, I mean, my guy's hair would not be considered dreads. Like, look at it. <laughs> and then we did pop over here as well. Your name and age? Tyra, 31. Okay, and Tyra, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I was just listening. Okay. So, he's not your type? No. Oh. What? What? <laughs> she was right in the head. She's like, I was just listening. You could have popped the balloon and still continued on to listen. If he wasn't your type, the whole point was to pop the balloon. What is she talking about? I was just listening. You see, this is what happens when women try to protect their ego a bit. You know, she don't wanna, cause she got rejected. So she doesn't wanna give him that, the power to say that he's her type and he rejected her, you know? I was just listening. So what makes him not your type? Um. I just, I'm not really physically attracted to you. I'm, um. See, she's making a bullshit. She can't even speak. <laughs> she got caught red-handed. She just can't be upfront and just like, you know, admit that, you know, he's her type. 
she has to go around the world with her answers are bullshit. I don't know. It's like the mustache part. I just, hey. I'm not feeling it. Like, uh, okay. Okay. I like it. I like mustaches and stuff. I just don't right. like yours. So, okay. all right. Nothing against you. So, why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, once again, just really no um, physical attraction. I'm real big on eye contact. I didn't really see no eye contact from her. So, that was really it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And then we popped one more up here. Your name and age, and why did you have your balloon unpopped? Brittany, I'm 28, and I just wanted to hear him out, to be honest. Um, we had a lot of stuff in common, a lot of stuff he was saying. Okay. Hawaii is one of my favorite places, too, to go. So, yeah. Okay. And now, what? Yeah. Okay. And now, why did we end up popping hers? Um, I popped her, like I said before, um, eye contact. Um, she's definitely attractive. I was looking at you. I was looking, at, looking you. at you. Yeah. I, I mean, was looking at you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it, so... Okay, yeah. that's fine. That's okay. really it right there. All right. Yeah. And then we did get a pop down here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Shiloh27. You stand like a baddie. <laughs> what the heck is she going on about? She on a tangent just because he's standing weird. I mean, I got to admit it. He is kind of standing weird. Why does he stand like that? <laughs> but I mean, to, to quickly like character assassinate him based on how he's standing is ridiculous it's like you stand like a body therefore i'm a pop my balloon and i'm traumatized so For like what? i did i did it a guy like briefly and i try to give him the benefit of the doubt but i saw like sass and i tried to like uh, maybe and i was wrong he was really sassy so so this is how you stand yes okay look okay that's cool <laughs> So that's the only thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> so now is she someone that's your type? Um, I would definitely say, yeah, she's definitely my type. She's attractive. I like your outfit. I like the Thank shoes. You. So. Thank yeah. you. All right. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> okay. So we do have four balloons left unpopped. Let's go ahead and ask the remaining ladies a question. Okay, ladies. Um, my question is, do you believe in casual dating or do you feel like dating should always be intentional? All right, let's start here with your name and age and the answer to this question. I'm Angelique. I'm 32. Ooh, um, honestly, I think it depends on seasons. Um, I think where I am in life now, it's intentional. However, comma, if you would have asked me like a year ago, even six months ago, I would have been like, absolutely not. I'm just meeting people, getting right, my right. feet wet, just doing a thing to do a thing because I like doing that thing. Which mm, a couple months ago, she was in the street streets, eh? I see, and now she's getting serious. What a good time to get out of them streets. Which okay. is dating, I mean, yeah. But, so both is my answer, I guess. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Let's go over here, your name and age and the answer to this question. Yes, I'm Keela, I'm 26. Um, definitely intentional, I don't like to waste my time. Um, and I don't like to waste other people's time, so um, intentional for sure. Okay. Yeah. Over here, your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm 31. At this point in my life, I am dating with intention. Um, like they said, when it comes to casual dating, if you got time to play around, you young, live your life, but mm -mm, not right now. Okay. <laughs> and our last lady, name and age and answer to this question. Shannon, 27. And casual dating, it's real and it exists. Um, for me right now, no. I think that people who date with intention move differently than people who don't. So, I mean, if it doesn't work out, that's completely fine too. But at least we both knew where, where we were coming from at the end of the day. Right, right. Okay. Right. I respect that. Okay. So, it is time to pop a balloon. We've got four ladies left. Let's go ahead and pop one of theirs. Just one? Just okay. one. Okay, go ahead and pop that one. Pop here. All right, now you jump in. <laughs> All right, so why did we end up popping hers? Um, I just really like the other answers better, really. Um, like I said, you're a beautiful, beautiful female. Um, I love your outfit. Definitely put it together. Thank you. No problem. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Yeah, he's clean. I like a clean man. So definitely wanted to hear you out more, get a little more information from you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and ask him another question. What do you feel is the most important quality in a relationship? 
Okay, let's start over here. You ready? All right, why not? <laughs> um, do I need to say my name again? Angelique K, 32. The most important in a relationship might be understanding. Understanding, understanding. Because I think with understanding comes like openness as well. Like right. you can, being able to see where someone else is coming from is important and with understanding people usually extend grace so i'm gonna say understanding because everything else trickles down okay okay Tricks. <laughs> all right answer to this question um sorry the most important trait in a relationship the most important quality quality yes i would say effective communication i feel like as long as both parties are on the same accord you can pretty much work through most things okay, okay. Oh, yeah. and our last lady answer to this question I would say, um, just like she actually said down there, but uh, communication and understanding hand in hand. Personally, in my relationship, I would say, just because I know my own flaws and the way that I communicate sometimes can go 10 different ways. But as long as my partner is willing to understand me, you know, figure things out, and I'm like, okay, we got it. As long as, like, if you're not doing just, like, you know, shoot me off, then that's good. Okay. I like that. Let me actually add one thing. A lot of women, they suck at communicating. <laughs> As their men, it's your duty to like decipher them, bro. They're like Rubik's Cube. They're like a puzzle. They just expect you to know. They're like, they expect you to know them like a little, like they're a little toddler or they're a little puppy or something, right? Like know when they're un hungry, know when they're moody, when they're tired, when they want to go, when they want to do this, when they want... It's like they suck at communicating. And as a, as a man, you have to just know what time of the day it is you know if she's all bickering and on your ass about some random shit like them dishes or garbage or something you you gotta know it might be that time of the month or you gotta know she probably hungry or you gotta know she probably stressed over some other problem it's like that's the one thing you know i know here they're mentioning all communication that 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 but in, in all reality they suck at communicating you know their language is a whole total different ball game and as a man they expect you to know it all right so that's that's the thing that's the reason why a lot of guys they don't really end up getting along with a lot of their partners or whatever because like you know their partner may be just like on their ass bickering and all and the guy's like where the hell is this coming from i just got home from a 12-hour shift work i'm tired i just want to drink a beer and watch sports like what the heck is she going on about you know what i'm saying they fail to understand each other so that's the biggest thing. I know these women are pointing out, oh, understanding, understanding, communication, understanding. Da, 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 da. You gotta realize they suck at communicating, you know? <laughs> They're just usually emotional and reactive. So as a man, you have to be able to read your partner. Okay. Okay. All right, you know what time it is. It is time to pop a balloon. How many, just one? Just one, one. Mm -hmm. okay. just one balloon. All right. <laughs> so why did you have your balloon unpopped? You seemed really nice. Like everything you were saying seemed good. You seem like you're, um, sorry, super nervous, um, <laughs> outgoing. And I like that. I need somebody outgoing, adventurous, like you were saying. So I'm just like, yeah, let's see what you got to say. Okay. Okay. So why did we end up popping hers? Um, she's an attractive female. Um, I just felt like I got more from the other answers, really. That's okay. it. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so our two remaining ladies, any questions? Oh, sh let's go over here. Do you have any children? No, no kids. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Okay. okay. Where are you from? I'm from North Carolina. Okay. I live in Los Angeles. How do mm -hmm. you feel about that? Uh, it's not a problem. I came out here, so traveling is definitely not a problem. Okay, period. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go down here. Any questions? Sure. Um... We'll have a couple, let's see. Um, no, your religious background, like what do you practice? I'm a Christian. Okay. What does that mean to you? Um, Christian to me means being good to people, um, always trying to do good. Um, I don't go to church, you know, like I should. Um, that's something I'm trying to work on. Um, hopefully I can meet somebody that can help me, you know, get more into it. But I'm definitely, you know, I do read my Bible and I pray every day. Okay. Non-denominational Baptist Church of Christ. No. No to what? All three? Wait, I'm sorry. Repeat that. I said Baptist. Which, which denomination, right? Right. Oh, Baptist, Baptist. Baptist. Yes. 
Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it is time to pop a balloon. Mm. Which one of these ladies are you going to be popping? You just keep. Uh oh. Okay. Why do we end up popping? This is the second time, girl. You made it to the end. You did it again. What's going on? Literally, yeah. She's getting annoying at this point. Like, why do you wait till the last minute to be popping? Like, this is the second time. This girl is the one who always second guesses herself. She did the same back then with the other contestant. Um. I think, you know, everyone is on their journey, right? Right, right. And I, I think for me, since I am in my season of dating intentionally, that I would like a man who's a little right. stronger in that department because I know that we all fall short. Right, okay, right. hello. And at this moment, I would like someone that could just just a little bit pull me in a little bit. I'm not bad, but I'm not good. Right. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not perfect. I'm not bad. I just want somebody a little stronger than me in that in this season. Right, I understand that. You know, it's cool. Yeah, that's it. That's crazy. He just said he's, you know, working towards it. I mean, it seems like both of you are in the same boat, right? Like he was looking for somebody who maybe could help him gravitate more towards, you know, going to church and all. And she seems like she's looking for somebody similar to that. But I mean, like both of you could have made this a goal for yourselves. You know, it would have definitely helped your relationship. Right. I mean, you don't really have to rely on your partner. You guys could have found a preacher, found somebody who's in it, find friends, find groups of people who are already, you know, going to church and all and start off small and build up. Right. So I don't really see how this could have been a deal breaker. Right. It's something so simple. But you look great. I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate it. You yeah. do, too. Come on, here. <laughs> you do, too. All right. Well, Derica, let me have you come on up here. I'll have you stand on this side of me. Yep. I'll have you stand over here. Any final questions between the two of you? Not at the moment. No, I'm good. Oh. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Well, then, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yeah. Uh, is it a yes for you for her? Yes, it is. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them. <laughs> well i guess they were meant for each other after all eh? um that's good you know this girl she she did this for the second time the girl in the white with the black skirt second time she disqualifies herself and the remaining girl ends up pairing with him i don't know why she keeps on doing this like i mean something tells me she's gonna be single throughout this whole episode <laughs> she's just so indecisive right so who knows? Anyways, that's the video, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what y'all thought about this. And uh, like, subscribe, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.